Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hi, all. Now, a lot of you know me, but I'm gonna introduce myself to the new listeners, viewers. My name is Aaron Clary. I run a consulting firm called Asshole Consulting, and you all laugh and joke, but it's a, a, a very legitimate, uh, profitable firm. Um, I specialize in truth, um, so that's kind of where I come from. Uh, and I'm going to give some free advice to the establishment Republicans, uh, who I know your Dick Morris is, you pay those political consultants who, you know, mommy and daddy paid for everything they majored in poli sci, which wasn't a real degree. And then they give you advice. At the center, the center, you have to move to the center and you split the room. I'm going to explain to you, Republicans uh, in the establishment, uh, how this is going to go down uh, in the nomination uh, primaries caucus. And um, this is the best advice you're going to get. You either nominate Trump or you die. Okay? And here's the reason why. Because tr Trump is the first. I hate to say it, real candidate, non-politician, non-establishment, non-cocksucking piece of shit politician you guys actually have in your field of candidacy. And uh, the people want him. And I know what the people want is a foreign concept, you guys, you know, over there in New, in, not in New York. Well, New York too, but DC going, nah. Uh, but if you don't nominate him, what do you think the Trump voters are going to do? You think they're going to rally behind Ted Cruz or Mitt Romney or whoever you delegates decide to vote in over at your nomination? You will lose not only half the vote. I'd say you'd lose probably 60, 70 percent. of Well, what's Trump? Trump is about 60, 70 percent of the, of the support and the uh, Republican backing right now. And if you don't nominate him, uh, you will lose not only those votes, but all financial support into the future. I mean, you don't not, I mean, you know, this is just me. I'm merely anecdotal. Uh, you don't nominate Trump. I'm not voting. Shit, I'll vote for Bernie Sanders because at least it will accelerate. You have no desire. It's, it's obvious you have no desire to actually stop socialism. Or whatever. Then the, the obvious solution is to accelerate socialism. Vote in Bernie Sanders. Uh, let's get this shit done and over with faster than the 60, 70 years it took the communists in Russia to go through. Let's, let's accelerate it. Let's just go through it. Let's do our experiment. Let's all lose our money. Let's all destroy the economy. And then we'll have to teach all the, the, the people again, you know, basic economic lessons that it took 4,000, 5,000 years of Western civilization to figure out. Oh, you know, that's what it was. That's why the wisdom and the old people told us to do it that way. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting away from the point. The point is, if you don't nominate Trump, uh, you're not going to have anyone show up at the polls. No one's going to vote for you. And worse is if you don't listen to the people, peoples, there will be a third party. And it will split the, the right side. I can't call it Republican because you don't own it. It will split the right side where you have the traditional cocksucking pieces of scum ass shit. Uh, Boehner, Ryan, uh, scum buckets. Cruz is professional politicians never worked a real day in your life because you're all a bunch of fucking pussies and then the real old school true american conservative libertarian americans we could define that use that as an adjective so just hold your nose like we've been having to hold our nose and voting for these shitty ass politicians like romney and mccain and all of these other douchebag connected white dipshits that you and that has nothing to do with white but it's like let's go with the most swipple oh my goodness are you a billionaire which right guy who never really i mccain i gotta give you that you know the dude actually did suffer and he, he, uh, more than most of us but ever since then what the fuck did that guy do that, that's what i want to but uh you go ahead. Yeah, get, get that info. Dude, go ahead. I dare you. Double, triple dog dare you. You go ahead. Not Don't nominate Trump. See what happens because you will die. You will be relegated to us. There will be a third party. It will come up. Or people just won't show up. It's the same effect for you. You'll never be in power again. You're not going to get those donations that you guys are like, ah, 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 that you're like just totally addicted to. Please, I double, triple dog uh, with a tornado outside of my house and a freight train carrying nuclear waste, dog dare you to not nominate Trump and ignore the wishes of the people. Please do that. See what happens. 
So otherwise, I think you ought to shut the fuck up. We're going to unzip our zippers. You're going to suck our fucking dick because we're the goddamn motherfucking people and you do what we say. You're our motherfucking bitches. And if you don't understand that, you won't be in power. No, <laughs> you haven't been in power. You've just been the Democrats' bitch this entire time. <laughs> So anyway, that's some free advice from Asshole Consulting. I know you don't like the taste of it. I know it's just, I know, but, you know, the good advice tastes bad. That's the good medicine tastes bad. Uh, but, you know, oh, yeah, let's run. Who would be, like, the most Kasich? He's kind of pretty. He's kind of. I'm trying to think. Who could you run that would be even more? I would say the Koch brothers, but they they actually worked and they went to school for engineering. I'm, I'm just trying to think there's uh, uh, Jeb Bush there you go run Jeb Bush right there there's your perfect little fucking pretty boy go run Jeb Bush he's not only the son of the president but a brother of another president yeah yeah that, that's a brilliant fucking strategy <laughs> when you want some more and I do actually have real good pieces of wisdom I have some brilliant ideas that would actually destroy the Democrat Party and, and would make the Republican Party win um you can hire me at assholeconsulting.com. But honestly, I think in a very Clint Eastwood uh, fistful of dollars, I might play you two parties against one another because I will go to the highest bidder. And I have... You just, oh, who's this arrogant cocky fuck? Oh, trust you me, you little ignorant fucking spoiled brat. Mom and dad paid for your fucking poli-sci degree over in the fucking Ivy League, and they set you up with a job. You've never, ever worked a real job. And you do not know strategy. You do not know guerrilla tactics. Trust you me, I have some brilliant fucking ideas. Maybe I will sell it to the highest bidder. Maybe I will. Anyway, assholeconsulting.com. Check it out. Might be able to help you fucking establishment Republican fucks. Toodles.